Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover a new value stock that I have found using one of my screeners. I'm going to show you why, although it looks cheap, why it's even cheaper than cheap, and how it actually makes money, which is a double win. A stock that is super cheap on the balance sheet and actually makes money. The stock is Yala. Apparently, they do two things. They do social media and gaming. Let's jump in. This is their website, yala.com. And when we click on business, they do two things. Social networking. They have a Yala and Yala chat. And they have games. And it looks like they're gambling style games. And I do want to point out that they are headquartered in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and the business focuses on the Middle East and North Africa region. And with that introduction out of the way, this is the, the reason I'm most excited because the market cap says 595 million, so it's a smaller stock. But look at the cash position. 528 million so you could buy the whole thing and you get all this cash available or another way to look at it is you're actually paying for a smaller amount of company when you factor out the risk let me say that again imagine buying a house for 500,000 and roughly four hundred thousand dollars worth was in the basement in in the house you're paying far less for that house when you factor it factor in the cash so apparently yala is aware of their cash position and they're looking to do buybacks and return cash to shareholders which is great here's the second part earnings estimates what they're expecting to make for this year is 73 cents the share price currently is 385 so that gives it a pe of only five now remember this is for the whole company when you factor in the cash maybe what is it one a pe of maybe one that's how cheap the stock is so the real question is is this business too good to be true because a pe of five it is growing potentially at eight percent a year and they have a bunch of cash on the balance sheet. It's too good to be true, right? Their latest report shows they have 289 in cash and cash equivalents, and they have another 238 million in short-term investments. So their total cash and investments is 528 million. So with the information I just shared, cash per share is about $1.80. That's just the pure cash, but the tangible book value, which is all their goodies minus the intangible, invisible stuff like, like Goodwill, the tangible book value is closer to $4. So the share price is right around there, 385 versus 397 But the cash value is the most liquid, whereas the other tangible stuff, it, it's reported at cost and it may not be worth that much when they sell it like their property plant and equipment so the cash is actually the more useful number so i drew a line at roughly about 360 maybe below there uh, anything below that it, it starts to become like a warren buffett cigar butt type company that's just too cheap uh, when it's when it's too cheap under that let's say it went to three dollars we know if they, in theory, that if they went into liquidation, you would get all your money back and maybe more if you bought it like at three dollars. So we know the risk is 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 very low at this point. The next question is how high can it go, and that's the harder part. Um, I'd still have to do some more research on this one, but let's say it makes seventy cents now, and maybe in a few years it could make a dollar, and maybe we give a twenty multiple on the on the high side. Maybe it could be a $15, $20 stock. 
which this used to be almost $40. So uh, I'm going to keep doing some research on it, but it seems like this this is a good one to add to the watch list, do some more research. Gaming and social media in the Middle East and Africa doesn't seem like a huge growth opportunity, but maybe it is. So if it starts to go to three, maybe it's super interesting. Maybe I might trade an in-the-money call position for for six months or the jans of next year. But this starts to become super attractive because I know there's so much cash on the balance sheet. There's real value inside of this company in just sitting in cash. And then the next question is, how much does the future have to get to get investors excited to pay a higher price? I hope you found this interesting. Like, follow, and let me know what symbols you're trading, and we can keep discussing stocks together.